All right, there's a story to go with this. I heard it this song this morning coming in. I heard it twice last week. And I'm convinced there's a mystical power involved in this. This was a story I was going to tell last week that we somehow never got around to. I'm sitting at Domenico's, my hangout, talking to my friend Filippo Lombardo, the owner's son. I see a woman come up for me on the, out of the corner of my eye. I turn around. She goes, Ron. I go, yeah. She goes, do you remember me? And I said, oh, man. Uh, I said, did we go to school together? She said, yeah. And I go, I guessed. I go, Christine? She goes, who the heck's Christine? <laughs> and I go, I'm sorry. That's a long time ago, almost 50 years ago. And she goes, I'm Susie. Susie is the one I asked to go to the Van Morrison concert. Oh, wow. Is the one I asked to go to the Van Morrison concert. She was the, about the prettiest girl in school, and now she's standing there, still very attractive. And I go, Susie, I've told this story on the radio about Van Morrison. She goes, I know, I've heard it. I was going to uh, send you an email that I didn't dump you. And I go, I never said you dumped me. I said Van Morrison canceled. I hate him ever since. And I and I said, but you never went out with me. And she goes, Ron, you never ask me again. Like a stab into Can the heart. Can you still? Yeah, she's happily married. She's got a. No, oh, for God's sake, Ron! It's, a, she, it's she, a terrible ending there. She got, well, what do you want me to do? Get a divorce for her. She got a. I said, do you have any kids? She's forty-one and thirty-nine. Are her kids? And uh, she lives in Boardman, Ohio. And I said, what are you doing here? She says, I've heard you talk about the place on the radio. I've heard you tell the story. Oh I think God. she was there with her sister wow. and some other guy. I, I about dropped it. She's still really attractive. I about fell over. And, then, you know, so I'm telling the story two days later to somebody else that came into Dominico's. And that song came on right as I'm telling the story. I heard it this morning coming in brown-eyed girl wow is that a great story and the story was that you asked her to the concert and i then... mean i was petrified to ask her right you know what you said you looked like in high school i looked that way too i had no business walking up to her but I, i'm walk i was probably shaking i Susie, i got tickets to van morrison would you would you like to go and she said sure i'll go and then the son of a gun two days before the show cancels because of laryngitis wow and she goes, you never ask me again. Oh, that oh. line is haunting, what isn't it? could have been? That <laughs> line is haunting. The one that got away. The one I, that got away. I still don't think she'd have gone out with me again, but that's beside the point. That's a great pink song. You should play that before. Play that for the yes. for the uh, what's cooking. Yes. The one that got away. Is that a great story? That is incredible, really. 50, about 48 years later. Wow. Is she a brown-eyed girl? I don't, I don't know. My wife and daughter are both brown-eyed girls, wow. so I love this song. Yeah. I, but I've hated them ever since. I've hated Van Morrison. Even though Will this you is change a, now? This though? is a fabulous song. Could you no, change now? No, he still now? stiffed me. Yeah, he screwed you over. He did. What a story. I don't Susie, know where to go, Fulzy, goes, with this. She, I go, I'm sorry. I don't know your name. She goes, I'm Susie. Oh. <laughs> that pierces me to oh. my heart, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. I love that story. So she was in town for the possibility of meeting you or just to know. hang out I, with I family? Don't know. I, I don't know what the deal was, how she ended. She told me, she said, I've heard you talk about the place on the radio, and she showed up there. I don't know if her sister still lives around there or what. I mean, I the best know. ending here would, would have been instead of— If I'd have of, been able to ask her out yes. now. Yes. Instead of her saying, you never asked me again, she said— uh, How if about she now? Said, yes. yes. How about Why now? don't you ask me again I'm, now? I'm free on Saturday night. What are you doing? If that <laughs> happened, then there should have been a newspaper story about it. I'm sure her husband's a nice man. I, uh, yes. I said, uh, There's got to be a way I to know, get him out I, of the I, picture, her husband, though, right? Her husband lived on the next street down from me, and we used to have competitive games between the streets. Yeah. And— uh, I go, are you still married? She goes, yeah. Well, 41 and 39, her kids are. Happily well, married? I guess. Did she have a ring on? I didn't notice. Yes, Joe. you I, did, no, Ron Fulzi. That's the first thing he looked at. I did not notice because I was so stunned. What a story. Huh?